Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your love reading. Please remember it is a general reading. Timing is fluid uh, and flexible. Uh, I apologize, I was gone. I don't even know how long. A few days, a week. <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot of readings out this week. I had a medical procedure. Uh, and then I finally got my office together. As you can see, my setup is a little different than before. So I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box if you want to request a personal reading uh, or if you would like to enter for the giveaway. So feel free to check those items out and let's get started here with your reading. Thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. I pray that this reading for cancer is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give cancer the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right. So we're going to get three cards. Oh, we already got two. Three cards for the overall energy here for you and your person. Okay, and let's get uh, two cards uh, for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and bottom of the deck here we have the two of pentacles. Okay, so give me just a moment here, Cancer, I'm going to hone in on the energy and then we'll call out the signs for those of you who like to hear them. Okay. All right, Cancer. So the signs we have here, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, we have Leo. We have uh, definitely your uh, sign is appearing in your energy here. We have Aries and we have Scorpio. Okay, remember they can be any sign or have these signs in their chart. Okay. So the first card we have here is the Nine of Pentacles. This tells me you're doing really well, Cancer. I feel here you're very stable. You may be doing well financially. I feel here you're attractive. You're taking care of yourself. Um, I feel like your energy is really, really good here. Okay. You also have here the Emperor. Okay. So I feel here... Um, you know, this can be for some of you, you know, working on your own business, okay, uh, having control of your life here, um, you know, feeling, like I said, really grounded here, but this can also be the person that you're dealing with, somebody uh, who as well is focused on their business here. And I feel this person, you know, this person may not be sharing a whole lot with you at this time or sharing how they feel. I'm getting an energy here of like both of you really working on career and finances. All right. Now the next card you have here is the death card. Okay. So things may have ended between you and your person, but I feel like this is more of some sort of shift or transformation going on here um, with you and your person here. I do see here with the two of pentacles, I feel here there is an energy as something is imbalanced here with you and your person. Somebody may be going back and forth here about the connection, maybe being a little wishy-washy. Uh, so I do see here there's a little bit of imbalance here. Now your energy, we have the chariot, which is your energy, and we have the sun card. I feel here, Cancer, you're just moving along, you know, with life here, taking control of your life, moving forward, um, and just, uh, I feel here you're like really in your element, you're happy, okay, like I said here, I feel like you're successful, I feel you're grounded, um, so I feel here things are good for you, right? Now, for a small group of you, you know, there can be, this can be about f fertility. Some of you may be wanting to, uh, you know, who may be thinking about the future and getting pregnant here, or you may be pregnant. That's not going to be for all of you, so just know that. Please remember, uh, roles can be reversed as well if it does resonate with you more. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. 
I feel here your person is really thinking about um, the past, okay? They're really reflecting on everything they've learned, I feel, with you and the connection here. Uh, I feel here they're trying to make some sort of decision here with the Two of Pentacles, okay, about the connection here. Because I do feel like being with you, Cancer, I feel like they've really, really learned a lot here, okay? So let's uh, pull some more cards here for each of the energies. Let's get two cards for uh, Cancer's energy. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Seven of Wands. And your person's energy here, we have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Temperance card. Okay, so this is Sagittarius energy here. Now for your energy, Cancer, we got the Nine of Wands and we have the Seven of Wands, okay? So first with the Nine of Wands, I feel like a lot of you are moving forward with your passion, okay? Just really um, having clear focus and working towards goals that you feel very passionate about. Okay, that's why I see you moving forward and you know, you're moving forward to what makes you happy. So I feel like a lot of you are just really focused on your passions um, and doing what makes you happy. You have the seven of wands. Okay, so some of you may have some goals that you're working on or there may have been some challenges here. Uh, this tells me you're on higher ground. Some of you may have even blocked this person. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Because uh, I do see here there was some sort of ending uh, between you and your person. Uh, for others, I feel here you're just guarded, okay? You're just guarded a little bit here and you're working on you trying to, you know, keep your emotions in balance here, all right? Now, your person's energy, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands, okay? So I feel here your person is really wanting another opportunity with you. They've really been reflecting on the past here. They've been reflecting um, of all the time uh, the two of you have spent together. And I feel like they're trying to manifest um, a new beginning here. They want another opportunity here, okay? They do see you as their wish fulfillment. So that is just beautiful, Cancer. So let's pull some cards here. Um, actually, before we do that, I'm gonna pull, we'll do the possible outcome, but I'm gonna pull some of these uh, Lover Oracle cards, see what comes out. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for Cancer and their person? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. There's one. Two. <laughs> okay. So the first card you have is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life here. Okay. So this is just basically about being positive, keeping positive thoughts um, in your mind here. You know, if you're getting any negative thoughts about this connection, if you're really wanting to manifest this, this is about just keeping positive thoughts that everything's working out for your highest good here, okay? The second card you have here is sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred, okay? So I do feel here there is a strong connection, a strong bond between you and your person. Even if things um, have ended or you're in separation here, I do feel here your person sees you as, you know, their wish fulfillment here and they're trying to manifest a new beginning. Okay, for some of you, this person may be coming in with some sort of um, apology or they just want to make up here is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's pull some uh, Romance Angel cards. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for Cancer and their person in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, oh, look at that. We have the Wedding card. We have the Passion card. 
Oh, we have the deception card. Let's get one more. And romantic feelings. Okay. So the situation involves marriage, okay? So for some of you, I feel like this person, they see you as their wish fulfillment. I see that they feel that they would like to be married to you, okay, in the future. For some of you, you could be married to this person and maybe in separation, um, or there may be some sort of um, situation that ended here, um, but you may still be in a commitment here. But uh, definitely, this is something that's very strong here. You have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing. Okay, so your person feels very, very passionate about you. Okay. Now, you had deception, and I pulled one other card too. Uh, you got deception, and you have romantic feelings. I feel this is a situation where the person you're dealing with, because this person is showing up as the emperor, I feel like this person may have a hard time expressing how they feel to you, okay? So they may be hiding behind their mask, you know, unable to show you uh, how they feel emotionally, but deep down they do have feelings for you, okay? So if that is uh, something that's going on in your world, just know they're very passionate about you, they do have feelings for you, they see you as their wish fulfillment, and they do see you as someone they could potentially marry, okay? or or reconnect the marriage, okay, if there is an issue with marriage. So let's get the possible outcome here for Cancer and their person. Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. Ooh, we have the Devil card. Let's get another card for that one. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I want to start with the page here. Okay. I do feel here this is a message of good news. Okay. I do feel here uh, between now and a month, I do feel here you're going to receive some good news regarding this situation. You have the Two of Wands. Okay. So I feel like this person is definitely thinking about the future. They're thinking about marriage here. Uh, for some of you, this person could live at a distance, okay? So there may be something that's holding them back, okay? But this person is definitely thinking of a future with you. But like I said, there is something that may be holding them back, and that's why they're in that, um, they're that uh, decision mode here. Now you have the Two of Swords and you have the Passion card, okay? So what I'm getting here... For some of you, you may be holding back, okay? I did feel here that some of you may have blocked this person. Some of you may be holding back intimacy with this person. Uh, or some of you may be indecisive here uh, whether you want to, you know, continue with this person. I do feel here the two of you are very passionate with each other. But somebody's holding back here from taking any action. Now, you had here the devil card and you have here the knight of pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay, with the Devil card here, but I feel here, you know, I talked about this person having a hard time um, showing their true feelings here. Um, I do feel here there is some, something, you know, some type of energy around them. They may be an overthinker, um, somebody who likes to be in control. You know, you could be dealing with someone, there's just some sort of toxic energy here that's slowing them down and doing this, okay? But I do see here this person does want to be with you. This person does um, definitely uh, have feelings for you, okay? So, you know, for a small for a small group of you, um, this is not going to be for everyone. You do have the deception card and the devil card here. So that can be an indication, you know, there could have been a past person, um, someone in the past that they were dealing with. Maybe they're having a hard time getting over a, a past, you know, love connection, okay, or having a hard time letting it go, okay, which is preventing them from, um, you know, expressing how they feel. Okay, I'm going to pull two more cards here from the Island Wellness deck. Okay, so 
the first card you have is, is mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So yeah, I feel like both of you in this connection are definitely thinking about things. The two of you are mirroring each other. This can be a twin flame connection as well. All right. So I feel like both of you are thinking about commitment, thinking about, you know, even marriage here. We have the boat card, uh, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, okay? So I do feel here in this connection, um, again here, this is, uh, I feel here, a time of introspection where maybe things aren't moving or someone here is not taking action uh, because I feel both of you are... Um, <clears throat> trying to get to get some clarity here on what you need okay what is going to feel good for you so that this connection can move on all right and then you have here cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation so yes i did say here i feel like there is something very good coming in here between now and a month here you're going to receive some very very good news as I said, this person may be moving a little bit slow here, okay? But I do feel here it's coming in for you, Cancer. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading and gained some clarity. Again, uh, if you'd like to request a personal reading um, or enter the giveaway, details are in the description box. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you Angela.